I'm going to show you how to do this, uh, how to do this um, animation. You add an armature from uh, Regify, you select the wolf and then you add the cube and the scene. It's uh, easy to have a split uh, screen, so you have uh, two views, one an autographic uh, view and the other one on custom view. And then you add the cube in the right place and then you add it. Best is to avoid um, the inset. I like to extrude. So I never do um, char character modeling. Maybe this is one uh, very rare I do that because it was big, quite a big challenge. But now this time um, I was surprised that it was not that hard than I thought. So what you use often is extrude. Root scale on the X, Y axis, uh, grab, rotate, etc. And use uh, edge loops, and you can always uh, remove, uh, dissolve edge loops. Sometimes you might need them uh, temporarily. So, and uh, often the mistake is that when we model a character that we've go into details too quick. I think you have to think in very rough uh, shapes and not be afraid that it looks uh, all blocky. We are going to um, subdivide it uh, later. Here you use extrude uh, and then uh, scale. Um, I'm going to do the ears in a moment. So I'm going to do there, make uh, two edge loops, then I remove some faces. That was quite a struggle, but that worked out well. So here one edge loop, and then there edge loop. And now here two edge loops, and I remove those faces. And I fill up then those faces again. check with subdivide and I'm going to generate a rig you can find it in uh, the armature tab in the properties then you select uh, the dog or wolf and select the armature then press ctrl p and then on automatic weights and then you can uh, check it's uh, pretty fast here is the real-time animation add-on you press, uh, you see LRS, uh, the central location rotation scale. If you click ro rotation, you select uh, first a bone and then you press R and then you move the mouse and then makes an animation in the timeline like this. So now I'm going to use the EV Express to uh, set up uh, the lights, the background, etc. So I place the camera here, it's also EV Express. I have fixed uh, some lighting uh, here. There are two light rigs and you can adjust every light uh, separately. Uh, color, etc. Then I'm animating here the camera itself. Save the blend file, then render it out. There's too much depth of field. And I'm going to composite uh, also from the EV Express. It provides some uh, compositor notes. Here you use a trick with uh, normals, so you can composite on uh, defined by normals, for example, something that's pointing up. Uh, the render is a bit too squeezed. I'm going to uh, and squeeze it a little bit and I use also color management so I'm going to render out all right 